What do you think about the scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, uh, I think we had a great scrimmage. Um, guys were flying around. Uh, defense made plays, offense made plays, and you know we were able to get better from it. How was the in helmet communication work? We talked a little bit with Kimmel about that. How have you been kind of handling that on the field? Yeah, yeah, it's it's going pretty well right now. Uh, you know, I had it in the spring, so uh, try to get all my difficulties out uh, in the spring, and you know, fall camp is it's, it's going good. How does that change things for the uh, signal caller of the defense? Uh, you got to make sure everyone gets the call because. Um, the offense could go tempo, and you know you gotta be able to communicate to everyone so everyone is on the same page, so they can execute their job. How much does it help having worked with beside Jihad last season, and how, how is that chemistry kind of going? How much does that help you guys on the field? Yeah, uh, just want to play for each other. Um, you know, you don't never want to let your brother down. Uh, but me and Jihad, you know, ever since he came in, you know, I try to take him under my wing, if you say. Um, and, you know, we just both growing together, and, you know, we're excited for, for the season. How much growth have you seen in terms of his knowledge and his ability now to call things and see them? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's elite. Um, you know, he's coming to work every day. He, he's learning everything he can. Uh, he could be a signal caller as well. And, you know, it's great to have two guys in the inside back room that can be a signal caller because it, it's easier to communicate to the rest of the guys. Uh, I think we play fast and we play physical and, and you know, um, now we can play free and, you know, it just allows us to make plays and, you know, fly around the field. Um, Jihad, the news just broke this morning about, you know, I, I call Jihad, my man, Deontay, the news just broke this morning about you and Jihad uh, both being nominated for uh, the Dick Buckets Award uh, for the nation's best linebacker. Uh, can you just give us just a, uh, um, just a, uh, what does that like mean to you and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, it means a lot. Uh, it's not something I really look into. Um, I mean, the results going to show at the end of the year, but you know, you just just go every day, you just try to get better, and you know, focus on going one to know every day. Last week, Kim Womack called Justin Jefferson a starter type player. Mm. What have you seen out of Justin Jefferson uh, out of, out of, over the summer, and what, what do you see about his what his contributions will be to this year's defense? Yeah, uh, Justin making great steps, uh, great strides. You know, it started in camp. You know, he's already fast and, you know, athletic, and he's just flying around. Uh, he's able to, you know, process the defense faster so he can play faster, and he's just he's just elite at what he do. And, you know, we're, we're, we're excited for him. What is you guys, camp? You guys are freshmen, like, what makes Ryan Williams hmm. exciting to watch out there? Like, what type of challenge does he present for defense? Yeah, yeah, he's a uh, <laughs> – Ryan's a playmaker. I mean, you can see that as clear as day. Um, you know, he's a deep threat. Uh, you know, his route running is elite. And, you know, for a guy to be that young and, you know, just come in here and, you know, understand the scheme, understand zone, man, you know, it's just it's just a pleasure to see. And especially coming from, you know, where I'm from, uh, it's good to see that too. Yonka, you've been called the quarterback of the defense. How, who have you seen around you kind of step up and been able to lead for you? Okay. Uh, I think Malachi Moore, um, he's a quarterback of the defense as well. And, you know, we communicate together. And, you know, when you got a guy in the back end that can, you know, make all the calls as well, uh, it's definitely helpful for you. You come from a system of those statements that was complex. Obviously, you had to think a lot, a lot of checks, adjustments. Kane talks about, you know, wanting to let athletes be athletes. Mm -hmm. um, how have you seen your role change within this new defense? Do you feel like there's more opportunities to make plays? Mm -hmm. You don't have to think as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just what you said. Uh, just go out there, be a football player, um, fly around. I feel like this this defense is made for inside backers, and you know that that makes me happy. Um, you could just just fly around, uh, know your job, and and just compete at the highest level. What have you seen in the other Justin Justin Okoronkwo oh. being uh, so new to high level yeah. football? Man, uh, yeah, we call him Jo. Uh, he <laughs> Jo, he's a great player. Uh, he's he's. Fun to be around. Uh, you know, he works hard every day. And, you know, he's just trying to get better and establish him a role. And, you know, I'm, I'm ready to see his future. Deontay, yeah, you've, had, you've had a trajectory like most people that come in here, uh, starting as a, coming in as a freshman and working up to where you are now. Do you, is, do you share that with younger players? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I try to, you know, share my experiences in every way I can. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a guy that can, you know, relate to the freshman or the sophomore. So, you know, I just try to give my input and, you know, just try to help them from my experiences to be better. You know, and it, you 
don't necessarily come in and start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I try to tell them. Uh, don't worry about, you know, starting. Uh, try to get on special teams and just try to improve every day. It's, it's going to be a roller coaster, but you just got to keep going. Um, pick your head up the next day and keep fighting. Who do you see that's uh, maybe taking to heart what you're saying? Um, Justin. Justin. Uh, we call him J.O. Uh, he... You know, he have a bad play. We have this one and no mindset. He just flush it and move on to the next play. And that's, that, especially playing linebacker, you got to be able to do that and, you know, um, process the next play. What's your other Mobile, Mobile teammate uh, Sterling Dixon? What have you seen out of him? Yeah, uh, Sterling. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy because when I was a, a senior in high school, he was a freshman, and now it's, it's like the repeat cycle. But, um yeah, he 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 got to learn. He got some learning to do, and you know, I'm just just here to take him up under my wing, um, tell him everything I know, and hope he takes stride from there. Yeah, I don't know if you've been asked this already, but Coach Womack mentioned that you've been the voice for him on defense and still down the field. How are you really embracing that role? Um, I'm just just doing it. Uh, that's what I do. I feel like. Um, you know, I'm a quarterback of the defense, and you know I got to be able to communicate at the highest level, and you know be able to do my job and get guys on the same page so we can execute as a defense. What's your relationship like with Jahan throughout camp? Uh, camp obviously, through last year, but seeing mm -hmm. him now switch positions and take on that role too. How, what have you seen from him? Yeah. Uh, we're just growing together. Um, we're just emerging as leaders, um, and we're just trying to get better every day. Um, you know, it's it's. It's a pleasure to be beside your high. It's fun. Uh, we both enjoy it, and, you know, we're excited for the season. Are we making too big of a deal of the green dot helmet communication? Say that one more time. Are we making too much of the green dot helmet communication? Uh, uh, not really, because, I mean, it, it, have, it's had, it has its challenges. I mean, you know, once we get in the stadium and there's 100,000 fans, you know, uh, it can it can be challenging. So, I mean, I don't think I'm making a big deal. It is a big deal because, I mean, if – if we're not all on the same page, then that could be a touchdown, explosive play. So there was over 100 or so plays run on the scrimmage over the weekend. Mm -hmm. The offensive tempo, is that pushing you all on defense? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, our offense has a lot of varieties they've shown us since since the spring. And, you know, we, we saw uh, lots of different looks and, you know, tempo. And that's just going to prepare us for the season. And so we're just embracing that and getting better every day. Is there anything in particular coming up Saturday, last scrimmage, that uh, that you're concentrating on, or that you feel like the defense is concentrating on? To... Yeah, uh, we're just trying to limit explosive plays. Um, most of our explosives in the last scrimmage came from um, not everyone being on the same page, and you know, communication errors post snap. So that's something we're going to work on this week, and you know, let it come out during the scrimmage. On Saturday, and yeah. What can he bring to this defense? Yeah, LT was he was making plays. Um, he was rushing, rushing the quarterback uh, like no other. And you know we need that. And you know we're happy to have him, and we're excited for for his future. What's been your impression on the younger guys and how they've been adjusting? Uh, they're I think they're adjusting the best since I've been here. Um, just you know listening to the to the veteran guys and you know really. You know, not thinking they're too big for, you know, whatever, coming out a high school five star. But, you know, they, they just stand down and, you know, when their time comes, they'll, they'll be ready for it.